Can you see that? Uh, somebody who watches my videos all the way in South Africa. This is a shout out to Candace Kerwin. She sent me this. Isn't that sweet? Really sweet. She sent me two. I like this one better because it's a tighter fit. <laughs> so thank you all the way from South Africa. What if we just think about self-acknowledgement? Because I think sometimes it's very challenging for human beings to acknowledge where they've come from in relation to where they are. And you guys, listen, your positive aspects are just as real, real, or actually they're more real than your negative aspects. The negative parts about yourself actually come, they feel more real to you because of your conditioning and from the history that you have with them. Because you reboot them all the time, so they're very familiar. But as I said last night, how often do you say to yourself, Alexis, ah, oh, I am awesome. Or, you know, yeah, well, or maybe a couple times a day, or Erica, you're like, yeah, rock, right? No, you don't generally do that. However, what you do do on a daily basis is, I suck, I'm a loser, what's happening with my life, and many thousands of permutations based in negative conditioning. So a lot of what I'm always trying to encourage us to do is if we just kind of see things from a new prism, then you have insight about stuff that you can change to be get more on track, right? So I think the thing that I, I was wanting to help us understand about acknowledging, oh my gosh, if you could just take a moment and acknowledge, self-acknowledge what you have done just in the last six months in your life, what you've accomplished. You guys, human beings are so forward, forward thinking in, in regards to goal setting and getting what we're going after and uh, you know, judging ourselves based on what we have or have not yet accomplished. However, we don't often self-soothe and self-love, oh, where I was a year ago is not where I am today. Look at what I've done to get here. Okay, maybe not all my ducks are in a row yet, but what about my acknowledging all the things that have kind of fallen in place or the things that I've moved forward that I was scared of or have openings in my life that maybe I used to be in the dark about? I think it's really important to acknowledge that part. And you know what's, why it's important is because if you think about your life in terms of expansion versus contraction, any kind of dialogue which is based in truth that is a more positive and wholly truthful vision of how you really are actually helps you to continue to expand in that way. So let me say it this way. Think about it. When you think negative terms about negative aspects about yourself, you're thinking in terms of contraction, which is it's internal, it collapses, it's system shutdown, you retract, you shrink. But actually, if you start to just self-acknowledge, what did you do this past year that you're like, excited about that you did. Everybody has to have one. Even just thinking about that, that leads to expansion. Look, my body like this as opposed to like this. Now think about your spirit like this as opposed to like that. Expansion is magnetizing. It's energetically building. It it's self multiplies. It's exponential. It has a rippling effect. And you know what I said in yesterday's class, I actually started thinking about expansion in terms of I was teaching an intro, new intro class, and I thought, oh, how often do we actually, can you imagine if you, this is expansion to me, stand up. How often do you stand like this? <laughs> Never. <laughs> no, do it, come on, try it. With your chest out. What would that be like if you just greeted the world like that? Get your hands a little bit more activated. Can you imagine if you went into an audition room, expanded? Now I'm not, maybe, maybe you could walk in like this, hey, maybe. I'm talking about it metaphorically, symbolically, walking in from that place, but we don't. We walk in in a contracted way, already apologizing for yourself, already sort of, you know, going in with one leg behind, tied behind your back, going in and wondering what they want or what they're looking for, or am I right, or I have to do it because I think that they know what they are looking for and so I have to give them what I think they know. We know that all those things are wholly untrue. They don't know what they're looking for until you come in and you solve the problem that they are seeking and answer for. So I think if we could just, what would happen if you just walked down the street like this? I bet a lot of heads would turn, Sheila. A lot of people would be like, oh, I want what you have. Okay, so sit down.
I think this whole thing about expansion radiates outwardly. In the last image, I've just been thinking in terms of images lately, as I started thinking about you guys, icebergs. And icebergs, you know, two thirds of their enormity lie underneath the surface. And I thought, that's like human beings. We don't relate to the enormity of who we are. You just don't. The enormity of who you are is, is a part that's hidden that we are very um, scared to take out and share. But think about it. It's actually the total part of who you are. It's not two thirds, one thirds. But if we want to think about it in terms of an image of an iceberg, two thirds of your power, of your magnificence, of your beauty, of the potential of possibility that you wield is underneath the surface, meaning is hidden to you. You shut it down, you shut it out, you repress it, you hide from it, you don't want to share it with the world. Well, let's think in terms this week of self-acknowledgement. And self-acknowledgement may be empowering you to start living in your enormity. If you can all do that homework, just write down. I know you won't do it, but do it. <laughs> you won't. Uh, do I, I don't, it's enough to think about it. No, write it. Just write down 10 things that you've accomplished. Okay. You don't have to do it now. Oh, we want to do it now? Do it now. <laughs> Let's do it.